What is up, YouTube? Today we gotta discuss the Supreme Week 9 drop, I believe. I just got out the shower. I'm actually about to head to school. A lot of people notice that I'm really tired when I film these videos because I always do it in the morning before I go to class. Anyways, let's get right into it and uh, discuss this week's drop. As you guys know, this week it is headlined by the Supreme Lacoste collaboration. Now, I gave my opinions about this collaboration, but I do think that some people assumed that I didn't like it when I think I said in the video that I do like it I just don't think it lives up to my expectation and I don't like it as much as previous Lacoste collaborations. I'll discuss more in a moment of course before I get into the video make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram My Instagram is at the star left that we see on the screen and in the description below I promise you I got some fire freaking photos coming so definitely go follow me on there also I will post another poll today discussing the Supreme Lacoste collab and just trying to figure out what people are going for, what people want more. I might even do like two or three polls on Instagram and then maybe like a poll or two on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those are at the Star Life. Now let's get into this video. As I mentioned, it is headlined by the Supreme Lacoste collab. Since I went over the collab already, I will go over the new product that we know is dropping and then I will go over some information about the collaboration that I did not mention and just kind of go into more depth as to why my opinion is what it is. So first off, I heard a rumor of the raft dropping this week and I was, I didn't believe it. My friend Nick hit me up and he was like, yo, like the raft might drop this week, yada, yada, yada. And I honestly didn't believe it only because I didn't think they would drop the raft while they're dropping a pretty hyped collaboration. I mean, the Supreme Lacoste collab is pretty hyped. It's not like super like over the top like the North Face, but I mean, it has a, a little bit of hype to it. So I did not believe that and thankfully they are not dropping that, but for accessories, they are dropping the Supreme Cartridge Flask. Now this piece, uh, I'm not quite sure how hyped this piece is. Maybe that's what I'll do a pull on because I don't really know how many people are really that hyped for it. I don't really need a flask. I have the Supreme Stanley flask that I never actually use because I just use the water bottles when I go hiking now. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll buy it. I don't really know how practical it is or how big it is or really like, I don't know. It might just be a decorative item, but it does look kind of cool. So maybe I'll consider copying, but I'm not really tripping if I don't get it. I mean, really, this is just one of those items that I would cop to resell, and resell depends on the retail. Now, some of the other pieces dropping, I'm honestly not a fan of, which is good for me because that allows me to go for the Lacoste collaboration. They are dropping this short sleeve knitted sweater. It's got ribbing around the cuffs and the sleeves. Those are two things that I'm not a fan of. I do not really like too much ribbing. I don't mind it on hoodies, but when it goes like around a short sleeve, that's just kind of weird for me. And then, of course, I don't really care for the fact that it's one knitted and two I just don't really like the colorways or like really anything about this piece to me just it's not really that great we have this button up and I'm not quite sure if that is a material or a I think it's just like a velour button up or like a felt button up let me go to supreme real quick and double check on the preview it almost looks like there is somewhat of a pattern to it so I don't want to tell you guys something and be misinformed so it is a pattern it's actually a floral pattern and a material it's a floral silk jacquard shirt so just so you guys know that's going to be a little bit softer i'm not going to go for it i mean i do like the tonal floral pattern but just for me personally i'm gonna have to pass that kind of makes me wonder if the hats are also like some kind of tonal floral pattern because honestly the hats look very similar oh no the hats are just like a suede hat if you look on the actual preview there's kind of some like different colorations of that red hat and it kind of looks as if that could be a matching set for the silk uh, button up but it is not the hat they're dropping is just a suede camp cap. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm definitely not going to go for any of that stuff, honestly. I'm not going for any of the lookbook items. Not even this piece right here, which looks to just have like some kind of paisley butterfly. It's not actually paisley. It's just a butterfly, and it's a really lazy, weak-ass like clip art butterfly. It's a pocket tee. Yeah, this is just absolutely terrible. I don't like these colors. I don't like anything about this except for the fact that it's a jacquard shirt, or I guess I should say jacquard top, but... Even that, I mean, with some of those tops, I like the jacquard material when it comes to jackets and stuff like that, but when it comes to some of the tees, they just layer kind of weird, so I'm just not a big fan of them. And honestly, that is it for the actual lookbook stuff. It's a pretty light week. I mean, honestly, if you don't like this collab, then you, you're you probably just going to sleep in this week. Now, this collaboration, there are quite a few pieces that I like, and there are quite a few pieces that I don't like. That being said, I just don't think that it lived up to my expectations because I do feel like the last one was better. Let's look at some of the comparisons, right? So you look at the tracksuit from last year 
and the tracksuit from this year. I think that the tracksuit from last year was a little bit cooler. And surprisingly, which is kind of weird, I think the one from last year will have more hype, even though I honestly would have expected the one from this year to have more hype, just because of the fact that they do use a Lacoste pattern that has been used before with the little lines and the alligators. And then on top of that, that's all 3M and it still has the Supreme branding. Maybe it's just the pieces they chose. I don't know if maybe they did a track top instead of an anorak that maybe this piece would have a little bit more hype, but I feel as if a lot more people were excited about last season's. And that also could be due to the color blocking. A lot of people like color blocking and honestly those colorways look super sick last year. I think I said last season's? I don't know. Anyways, the colorways looked really sick last Lacoste collab. When we look at the crew necks, the crew necks last season, in my opinion, were better. They had a huge, like, sewn in crest. It was, it was just sick. And these crew necks are decent. You have the tonal supreme branding with the little Lacoste patch. I think that they're they're definitely nice crew necks, but I just don't think they're as nice as the last Lacoste collab. I also like the work jacket over the wool varsity jacket. I mean, I don't know. If I'm looking at it, I guess from an unbiased standpoint, I could see why some people would like this collaboration more, and there's a lot more being offered in this collab. There's a lot more pieces. I'm not a big fan of Velour, so that's probably another reason why I tend to favor the last collab, but the last collab had some duds too, like that V-neck sweater was no bueno. The long sleeve polo was actually kind of hard, but it was just wasn't a piece for me personally. In this collab, we're getting shoulder bags, waist bags. I don't know, man. It is kind of hard. I just feel like the highlights from the last collab were better. But I will say that this collaboration offers a little bit more to your normal consumer. There's a lot more of like a variety of pieces in this collab. Some of the pieces that I definitely like and will be going for include the shoulder bag, of course. I don't know the retail on that, but I do want to get one of those. I might want to get like one of those waist bags or fanny packs. Uh, I do want to go for this curved brim. A lot of people were like, oh my God, it's a dream come true. Well, I mean, Supreme does have curved brims. I mean, like, just hold on a second. I don't remember if I ever showed this off, but I mean like they have this, right? And this is kind of like an old polo hat. They just don't really make them anymore and they don't really make them like a dad hat really. Like those have kind of a longer bill, like vintage polo caps. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I just kind of wish that the design was something else besides the Supreme Lacoste crest. I'll still be getting one for sure. The other piece I like, I love that nylon suit. A lot of people actually like the velour suit more than the nylon suit, which I think is kind of interesting. I really expected more people to like the nylon over the velour, but uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy for that because honestly, I want to go for the nylon over the velour. I think in terms of design, I could definitely understand liking the velour suit better. And on top of that, it is a track top. However, just for me personally, I'm not a big fan of the way velour stacks. They're of course dropping the velour polo as well. Once again, not a fan. The wool varsity jacket is nice. However, like I said, it's going to be a little bit heavier. And when it comes to like my varsity jackets or just jackets that I wear over hoodies, I'm not a big fan of a heavier weight just because it's a little bit more restricted. As for the hoodie and the shorts, in my opinion, just the colorways aren't as good as last season. Like last season, they had a lot more pastel colors and this season, there were definitely still some pastel colors. However, I just don't feel like they're quite as nice as, uh, why do I keep saying last season, as the last collab. But yeah, overall, you definitely have a lot more being offered. And I think this collab is decent. Like some people, they thought I was gonna say the collab sucked. And so some people even commented, I believe, before even watching the video, like, oh, we already know you're gonna hate the collab. And it's like, I never said I hated this collab. I think it's a decent collab. I just think in my opinion, there are pieces that I personally wouldn't go for because of the materials. But overall, the collaboration is dope. If these exact same pieces were made, but they were using different materials, I would be super hyped this week. Like for example, that velour tracksuit. If I liked velour, I would 100% go for that piece. That's a sick little combo. But yeah, like I said, I think the pieces that I'll be going for this week include the shoulder bag. I might try to get a flask, the hat, the nylon suit for sure, even though I believe I'm gonna go for that last because it doesn't seem quite as hyped as the other stuff that I'm going for. And I believe that's it. I don't think I'm gonna go for anything else. That hoodie was a major letdown. I really wish they would have done something else with that hoodie. But regardless, I do think that this is one of the better collabs this season. I have been somewhat uh, critical of the collabs this season. When the lookbook first came out, I was so excited for this season. And I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a killer season, blah, blah, blah. I think there are a bunch of super sick lookbook items. However, that being said, the collabs have just been somewhat of a letdown for me and I really was hoping to see a lot of super sick collabs. We are about halfway through the season. There are like 18 to 20 weeks. And so I don't think that this season will live up to last season just because of some of the collabs. However, there is still definitely time 
to redeem itself. And I think that because they've been dropping so many duds in the lookbooks these last several weeks, there's actually a lot of heat in the lookbooks that I'm waiting for. For example, the bandana tracksuits, the denim patch jacket. Oh my god, that is so fire. The raft. And just tons of other pieces that, like, I, I genuinely think are sick from this lookbook. But what do you guys think? How do you guys think the season is shaping up thus far? I don't want to just know my opinions. I want to hear your guys' opinions as well. So let me know down in the comments whether or not you think this season so far compares to last season. Whether it's better or worse or what have you. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and let me know on there. My Instagram is at the Star Life. It's going to be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. I will be doing polls on both Instagram and Twitter. But it's most important that you follow me on Instagram because my opinion pictures are fire. Oh, also, by the way, guys, the palace season just ended, and I'm really curious to see how the next palace season shapes up, because honestly, this last palace season was a little bit of a letdown. However, I'm still rocking with palace, and I think palace is next up, so I really, really hope they kill this next season. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart, and as always, keep living the star life. Players,